For the longest time, I've been wanting to make a YouTube video on making kids' toys a little more fun. And by a little more fun, I mean doing things like making them go because a lot of the cheap little plastic kids toys from when I was a child sucked. They did nothing. So in an effort to redeem my childhood, I decided to recruit someone to help me out. Mm. Mm. This is Integza. He builds rockets in his basement and a bunch of other things that go. Where am I? The South. It's so hot and humid. This is not Portugal. I thought you were from Spain. No! After Open Sauce this year, we kidnapped Integza and brought him back home. I wanted to make a video on improving a kid's toy, and he wanted to do something dangerous. Totally safe. And thus, the idea was born to modify a cheap bubble launcher to make an explosive bubble launcher. And we only had a couple days to do it before he had to go back. Is this the tattoo 3D printer thing? Yeah, yeah. Can I get one? No. Who's that? Marina Cosgrove. Do you not have iCarly in Spain? I'm not from Spain! What? What is this? Okay, I have to have decoration. If it's just blank walls, I get distracted. Sure, I, I, like, but uh, Fruit Loops and a cat? Yes! How do you get so much filament? How else am I supposed to make boats? Boats? <laughs> they must not have boats in Spain, bro. That's crazy. We gotta write this down. We gotta write this down. Hold on. What is that? Eminem not slim? Dan was giving me a lesson on Eminem lore the other day. Do you like Eminem? Yeah. Nice. Don't ask him about that. Why not? The Death of Some Shady, which was released last year. Now, the, the Death of Some Shady Martin. is like Eminem and Brown's Brown's body bagging. Basically, Eminem and Brown's 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 body bagging. Brown's Brown's now a normal bubble launcher just operates with a fan. You dip it in soap and a fan blows the air through the holes. But w what if it wasn't just air? What if it was special air? So if we want to make explosive bubbles, we got to figure out what gases to put in them to make the biggest. So our first thought was nitrous oxide mixed with butane, y you know, safely. Nitrous oxide is typically used as an oxidizer and propellants, and it's also used to make things like foam and whipped cream. It's most known uses for laughing gas, so d don't get any ideas, but you can buy it in canisters meant for whipped cream at the vape shop, which I know is kind of jacked up, but whatever. We obtained the nitrous oxide for rockets, for nothing else. Don't do things you're not supposed to do. Can I have can I have a few of those really quick? No, no, Well, I just want to make sure it's good to no, use. No, I'll do that. No, I, no, okay, no, it's now fine. I will take them. But how are we gonna make sure? <laughs> now to see how big of a boom we can get by mixing the nitrous oxide with butane. A little bit of uh, nitrous oxide. And yes, that's a Hacksmith mini saber zip tied to a broom. Okay, it it, it works, all right. Oh, it's kind of anticlimactic. Yeah! I'm not gonna lie, I wanted it to go boom a little bit more. I know, we could just get like pure oxygen, but I don't think we, we have enough like time. We've got like four days yep. is the problem before you leave. Yeah? Is that an oxy kid? You just have it in your van? Is that in your car? It, is it not enough? Dude, why do you have that in your car? Like, are you just eating metal in the middle of the street? Do you want me to put it back? He does look iron deficient, I'm not gonna lie. So we switched gears to the oxyacetylene, which is typically used to heat up or cut metal. Dan, what is that? That? is a knob. Okay. <laughs> what, what? Dan, what is that? This is your oxygen. And what is this one? This is your acetylene. And then it, it goes together and then what does it do? So that is just pure acetylene. That's when you add your oxygen. Three, two, one. Yeah. I told you. Oh, you guys thought it was gonna be. I yeah. the feeling it. You feel I the shockwave going through you, dude. Look, it shredded the glove. 
The glove is gone, bro! Now that we've settled on oxyacetylene, time to try to blow some bubbles, but without the launcher at first. We making nuclear bubbles. Don't say that so loud, my neighbors can hear you. Obviously we weren't sealing anything off, so there's regular air in these as well. Oh my god. Well, that's weak. So the pops weren't as satisfying until we really did make sure the only gases in the bubbles were oxygen and acetylene. <laughs> oh my god! Did you record that? Yes! <laughs> my we ears at least... ringing! Lie! Yay! It did the thing! <laughs> I don't let it go to the thread, it survives. <laughs> Dude, the effect on that. This is good. Oh. Why is it coming from my face every time? <laughs> Imagine oh when we... my gosh! That was a bubble. Now to attach it all to the bubble gun. We want to be able to play around with the ratio of oxygen to acetylene like we just did here. And the only way we're going to be able to truly do that is by releasing all of it into a controlled chamber and then blowing the bubble with that. So I started modeling parts and adapters to hook up the oxyacetylene to a solenoid valve and then to the old bubble gun that we had bought. We've come to the decision that we're going to remove the fan uh, because fan has motor, motor go spark, and spark go boom. So we're... That's not the motor. Well, now we're really not using the fan. <laughs> These are two different pieces. They're not... One piece. One not piece. Yo, the, t don't put the camera up here. One piece. You're watching a video with two people that really like One Piece. We also taped up the sides of the bubble gun to create that chamber, hooked up the trigger to the fan to the solenoid valve, and I modeled some alternate plates for the end of the bubble gun for the bubbles to come out of. We removed the fan, basically tied into the trigger switch right here to control the valve. Nice. That seems pretty good to me. You know, this was the best $20 we ever spent at Walmart. Just go in there. Build up pressure and then pull the trigger. That's very hot. You know what's also hot? I'm gonna have to cut out so much of this. Everyone thinks that I have some editor that, that goes through all this. No, it's me. I have to cut out all this. I'm the, it is me. I, I, I do it. We've got TPU right there. Okay. That's not as wiggly as it was before. And if everything fails, we have hot glue, right? I used hot glue so much growing up as a kid. Like, I literally grew accustomed to just burning myself. So if I, like, put it in the wrong spot, I'd be like, oh! I, know, I normally sniff it or I just eat it. You ate glue as a kid, Joel? Yes. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Here's our tutorial on how to make fire, fire stick. Take small butane torch. How dare you? That's a micro lightsaber, okay? I, I, take I, small... I'd say it's huge, honestly. Like, this is, this is a massive butane torch. Really. Like, I, I would, like, honestly, I think it's, it's, like, too big for the actual room. Like, preferably, I want something that's, like, that big. I think that would, I think that would actually be the best thing. Like, th this is just, it's overpowered. It's massive. It, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't I've know. never seen a torch that big. I know, me either. As I was saying, you take broomstick, you take that, and then you put tape around it. Tape and hot glue. Tape and hot glue. Did you overfill it? Okay, we're... A bit dangerous. It's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's gonna fine. be fine. It's... Okay, <laughs> it's only held on with masking tape. All right, here's the most cursed thing ever. <laughs> to test out first, we're gonna hook it up to compressed air. Ready? Oh! It's shooting the bubbles. It's like an individual one. Oh, oh no. Testing the little one. More. Am I supposed to pop them now? Yeah, sure. Ready? Give it to me. Whoosh. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. So we got oxygen design. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, I think we have a good mixture now. Nope. Oh, oh, get that one. Oh. 
we have the other attachment. Oh. Nice! What? I needed this. It got really loud. It's kind of sensory overload. This, 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 come back! Wait, no, you might like it! Come here! Ooh! Triple one! Oh my god! Oh. Ah! The double was back to back. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> yes! That was, that's the best one. I like how your ends are full with soap and mine are just disgusting. Yeah, yeah, mine are like supposedly clean and his are like nasty. Wow, Oh my gosh. That was so educational and fun. Now, unfortunately, it was time for Joel to go home. We enjoyed getting to immerse him in our complex culture. And honestly, we really enjoyed blowing things up with him, but it was time to say goodbye. Dan? <laughs> Dan? What? What's wrong, dude? What Joel's you... gone. Dude, we gotta finish the video. Get you gotta... out! Okay. But this is my house. Get out! After some coping, we decided to have a little bit more fun and show our friends what we made. You, you good? I understand it now. Hey, Walsh. Pick that up. What do you think that is? I have no clue what this is. What is it? What does it look like? You got soap over there, so like a bubble blower? I don't know. It's a bubble blower, right? Yeah. What kind of bubbles are we blowing? <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that was loud. Oh. What do you want? Alright, Dan. I'm so concerned. What? Show him. What am I looking at? What am I holding? It's something that we made. What am I supposed when Joel to be was here? I should be afraid of this. Yeah. Uh air. We blow air through it. Okay. Air. It's a lot of air. It's a lot of air. Yeah. It's just on. Okay. It's <laughs> a little bit air. Of now. What the hell? This is the oh. <gasps> I like how before I said this big and you went that's crazy and then you blow it up to oh, this big. Oh, that was all acetylene! Alright, gamers. <laughs> wait, 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 stop, 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 look at your face. Dude, she, oh, she's got so look, look at her face. That was so loud. That was so loud. You have to get... No, not with that one. Big brain, big brain, big brain. You too can be big brain. I don't because know if you would consider this video to be big brain. Shut up, because with Brilliant, you too can be big brain. Who, by the way, is the sponsor of today's video. Brilliant is a great and interactive way to learn STEM subjects online, whether you are a child, a boomer, or somewhere in between. Brilliant has thousands of lessons tailored to you and your experience levels. The two lessons that I've made most use of are the math and the computer programming lessons because one, I forgot all the math that I learned in college and two, I don't know a lot about computer programming and I like to learn. I am also a visual learner and Brilliant's lessons are great at holding my attention because my attention span is that of a goldfish if not less. And it's nice because I can learn at home on my PC or on the go on my phone. So you can scan this QR code, go to the link in the description or go to brilliant.org slash Emily the Engineer to start learning for free. And you can get 20% off of an annual premium subscription, which allows you to get unlimited access to everything Brilliant has to offer. So be sure to go check out Brilliant for yourselves. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video and the, uh, bye. <laughs>